Hi guys, in today's episode of Talent First, we have a guest who is who who's who, who's a very fun person who, who who's a who's a person who will not sound like a typical analytics leader. He he's a person who will not just talk about his experience but also about his insight of the greater world, greater analytics IT world. Hi Pankaj, how are you? Hi Raghav, thanks for having me over. So Pankaj, आप जानते हो हमारा flow. Uh, firstly, guys, this is going to be bilingual. Uh, a lot of people have given us the feedback that they like when we do bilingual. Uh, and Pankaj, you're comfortable with Hindi, right? Yes, yes. So Pankaj, जैसा आप जानते हो, right? हमारा flow होता है कि we start with an elevator pitch rather than me introducing you. Would love if you can just tell us about yourself. Um, so I come from a small place in UP called Allahabad or mm-hmm. Prayagraj now. Uh, born and brought up. schooling all mm-hmm. in lahabad acha then from north i went to east to iit khadakpur which is a uh, part of west bengal right four years in west bengal then went to south was in hyderabad for about 12 13 years and last 8 9 years in bangalore mm. so now i'm probably inching towards an era when i've done more years in the south than in north <laughs> uh, so bangal let's let's go step by step right you started from allahabad So describe us a bit about how was your childhood, and particularly we want to know where were your academic interests. Again, it might sound boring, but that helps us understand you as a person better. So I don't know if I, if I'm going to disappoint you a little bit, but uh, that was the time when I, till class twelfth, I wanted to make a career in sports. So sports. yeah, it had nothing to do with academics. Okay. Uh, but uh, so I've I've played reasonable amount of sports. So right from football. uh cricket basketball aquatics water polo uh volleyball i mean you name a game and i would have played this was in your school you were playing or yes. yes which school did you go to i went to saint joseph's college in allahabad okay, okay. it's a reasonably known oh, that's school that's yeah. obviously right right and so but and there was a time when at that point in time i wanted to get into the army only because i thought if you join the army you get a chance to keep playing and you can pursue your sports mm-hmm. interest or whatever but i think Tenth ka results became a big turning point in my life. अच्छा है हाँ it it was very in fact class seventh was the time when there was this whole reservation uh, unrest that happened so schools were closed for four five weeks and that was the time I quit pretty. ये मंडल कमिशन के टाइम की बात है ना right that time hmm. so that was the time when we were just having fun right. those first term exams were really screwed I mean I had a real tough one um, so. I, but i think got got some good mentors in mm. fact there was in class 10th and in very interesting instance happens and that's where i realized the importance of having good mentors good sounding boards one of my uh, teachers at that time he just out of the blue he's very respected in allahabad yeah. um, uh, his name is mr kazmi he called me up and he said remember pankaj every time there's a new topper in class 10th uh, it might be your chance i feel you have the potential mm. and before that nobody had said anything to me about the cats And he said it could be your chance, uh, and maybe that was a huge turning point. I put in some effort, got very good results, uh, and I think after that it went into a cat. So people mm. said you're good in academics. You're not mm. just try doing something uh, on the professional education side. Mm. Uh, like all good citizens at that point in time, you either become a doctor or an engineer. <laughs> uh, so I enrolled for an IIT whatever. This ninety seven. Ninety seven. Yes. Mm. So ninety seven to two thousand then. So IIT में कहाँ कहाँ हुआ था आपका? I think uh, it. So you go for a counselling and obviously again that was an interesting one. मेरे um, time का IIT was probably the only time when the IIT was done twice. The exam was done twice. So the paper got leaked. Okay. So it means that you advance. At that time it used to be only one exam. Okay. And which right. was the the advanced. Obviously, obviously, right. So. Um, I think uh, probably an interesting era that you, uh, I had kind of peaked at that point. I was doing very well, wrote the exam, came back. There were a few, four of us friends. We tallied our scores, very so good yeah, scores. Yeah. Uh, I thought it'll probably everyone had predicted it'll be a good rank or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and a day later, we got to know that the exam is will be rescheduled, will be done again because the paper was out. So, आपको मिला था paper पहले? नहीं नहीं, I had no idea actually at that time. <laughs> But okay. so two and a half months later was the second one. Hmm. and but again by that time i was having a lot of revise kar liya hoga bahut aisa laga ki chal jayega so rank took a dip but i think you had a few options so i picked up khadakpur and kya rank thi aapki 
आई थिंक वॉज अराउंड एटीन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन बहुत अच्छी रहेंगे ऐसे थोड़ी अभी के हिसाब से उस टाइम इट वॉज इंट दैट ग्रेट कम आई आई भी थे ना तब हाँ आई आई पाँच ही थे हाँ बट अगेन आई थिंक इवन यू नो लॉर्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज राइट आई एम श्योर इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी एनी डिफरेंट नाउ दोज वर रियली रियली फन टाइम्स एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अगेन आई यूज टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स कंटिन्यूड माई स्पोर्ट्स एज मच एज पॉसिबल इन कॉलेज ऑल्सो येस येस प्लेड प्लेड फॉर खरगपुर इन टू स्पोर्ट्स रिप्रेजेंटेड दैम इन टू स्पोर्ट्स क्रिकेट एंड वाटर पोलो विच इज अ रीजनेबली गुड वाटर पोलो मतलब बहुत ही यूनिक मतलब स्पोर्ट है मतलब बहुत शौकीन बड़े मतलब यू नो लेगेसी वाले लोग करते हैं वाटर पोलो में आप कैसे गए वी डोंट नो दैट खड़गपुर हैज आई आई टी खड़गपुर हैज अ वेरी यूनिक स्पोर्ट्स सेटअप and social cultural setup mm. so it because you, that's probably at that time there were five iits right. khadakpur was the only iit which was not in a big city mm. so hamari life mein na jo kuch bhi hona tha wo us campus ki char deewaron ke beech mein hi hota tha mm. so we had a packed gymkhana calendar matlab okay. for us life was never ki if you're in delhi bombay you can go out right have fun outside wow. for us all the fun was in the campus mm-hmm. so there was nothing else and it had a super packed calendar so every game or whatever and i think because i was good in like at water polo is a sport that you need to know swimming so mm. there are not too many people who would know mm. so you the selections ha- happened because of that uh. and i think my strength was any game which involves shoulder so i oh, okay uh, so your shoulder also look pretty good <laughs> <laughs> not any more but ha uh, Mm. so i think i uh, and i had an attacking instinct so right. uh, <laughs> so i used to be a striker in mm. every whatever like football or whatever football bhi khelte the ha wo bachpan mein khelte the like 6th 7th time frame mm. again our school group mm. uh, but then uh, i grew vertically up right. so right. was very lean mm. and football is a strong contact sport mm. and i was extremely lean not mm. as uh, whatever so it, it's not a good contact sport and mm. more chances of injury whatever Jeez. so it it kind of tapered off slowly and steadily mm-hmm. so what i understand is you became studious around class 10th when you got a motivation mm. usko aapne capitalize kiya iit ka ek ek journey start ho gayi iit mein you gave it twice you assume ki pehli bar better rank aati you are assuming that ho sakta ki nahi aati mm. you don't know Uh, आप खरगपुर में गए बट खरगपुर में भी दैट स्पोर्ट्स एलिमेंट यू डिड नॉट बिकम अ फुल अकेडमिक नर्ड यू डिड नॉट बिकम अ नर्ड यू आर ऑल राउंडर यू दैट्स अ नाइस वे ऑफ पुटिंग इट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल या नॉट सो अकेडमिक्स वॉज ओके हाँ बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट पीपल टू थिंक दैट इट्स लाइक हु एवर इज वॉचिंग दिस अकेडमिक्स इज इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लीज स्टे फोकस्ड बट येस आई थिंक डू द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज डू वॉट यू लाइक डूइंग द बेस्ट एंड तब आप अच्छा करोगे इवेंचुअली इट विल टर्न आउट टू बी फाइन सो ठीक है सो यू गो टू आई आई टी इन आई आई टी यू आर इन टू स्पोर्ट्स देन जो पहली नौकरी द फर्स्ट जॉब यू आर सपोज टू गेट डिड यू थिंक कि कहाँ जाऊँगा या फिर जो आएगा तब की तब सोचेंगे हाउ हाउ डिड यू अप्रोच इट सो एट दैट टाइम समबडी कमिंग फ्रॉम अ फ्रॉम अ फ्रॉम अ मिडिल क्लास बैकग्राउंड एंड Uh, उस टाइम पे हमारी एस्पिरेशन थी कि गेट अ जॉब 2000 की बात है ना 2000 सो माय आर कैंपस वुड हैव बीन 2000 ग्रेजुएटेड इन वन सो आई थिंक उस टाइम द मोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज गेट अ जॉब सो यू हैड टू टू थ्री प्राइमरी ऑप्शंस राइट शायद अभी भी सिमिलर अभी तो एक्चुअली एवेन्यूज बढ़ गए हैं बट इधर यू आर वेन यू आर ग्रेजुएटिंग यू टेक अ जॉब और यू गो अप्लाई फॉर अ यू यूनिवर्सिटी गो फॉर योर मास्टर्स or you apply for a, a pg cat uh, mba exam or whatever mm-hmm. and i so actually us time to need thi ki get into a job i at that time also i was very clear that i want to do an mba mm. but whether then or a little while later with some with some experience wo kahi 50 50 tha so and i think i was till finally was because i was playing so much of sport शायद उस टाइम उतना फोकस नहीं था कि प्रिपेयर करें एंड गो फॉर इट सो टूक अप एंड आई थिंक द द फर्स्ट जॉब दैट आई अप्लाइड फॉर आई गॉट तो डे वन डे वन पे मिल गया आपको मतलब हाँ अर्ली पार्ट में ही था वेन एवर वट एवर आई थिंक इन्फोसिस केम इन एंड आई अप्लाइड एंड आई उस टाइम पे हाउ इज इन्फोसिस कंपनी मतलब एज एज अ यंग इंडिविजुअल How did you perceive Infosys? Was it like some cutting edge company जो country को बदल रहे हैं या फिर you were like हाँ ठीक है tech में IT outsourcing की एक boom है BPO business है. Mm. I think it was somewhere in uh, 
um, like somewhere in the middle mm. because there was a lot of uh, a few niche product companies had started coming like? in. Uh, so at that time, uh, so obviously Microsofts of the world. Uh, so they were. They were. Uh, you were well aware of obviously. Uh, um, plus a lot of uh, like there were few very niche IT outsourcing companies also. Uh, like, like Aditi Talisma, it became mm-hmm. Talisma and mm-hmm. acquired by. Yeah. Then there were few which were in like uh, Hughes, uh, those Intels of the world, mm-hmm. which, and then G type. G was not picking from campus at that time. That time. Mm-hmm. Interestingly, you asked that question because I was picked up from my B school campus. That was the first job on the okay. camp campus. Okay picked up by G okay. but just coming back so mm-hmm. I think it was a good company and Shayad time there was a lot of good uh, press right I think Infosys would have got listed in the later mm-hmm. part of ni- 1900s yeah, yeah. and I think go- so around that there was some glamour and mm-hmm. some uh, off the IT, IT the aspiration sir. theme Haan, Haan, there was I'm sure it yeah it would have been hmm. so when you got that job what was the reaction tha? Uh, uh, so it's always nice if you're and you come from a smaller city right so a brand name wali, if I had said at that time a, a niche product company which is much better it better sounding tha, right because people knew the name right, right. so uh, ha, it, was, it was nice I think it, mm. um, that yeah you aspire you went to a professional college and at that time job was also an important aspect so mm. it was nice ha. So, ab Infosys mein you go. Us time, I think there was six months of training. Or four months, six months. So, we, I joined in September. Till December was the training. So, three months. Three months. Three training aap ki rahi. Uh, And you stayed there for how, how long? Four years? Oh, no, no. I was there for like 16, 17 months. Acha. <laughs> nice. Because I, I was very clear. And... Uh, that I wanted to get into a B school uh, and MBA was an aspirational element. And I somehow I knew this is a place where I'll do better. Mm. Um, so I think 16, 17 months later, I applied. In fact, uh, uh, there was a interesting incident related. Mm. So by that time I had met my future wife okay. and I was very clear that, mm. so we had- You met an Infosys? Yes. Oh, nice. Um, mm. And I, so, I was very clear that if I, I intended to marry her and I had to apply only for a one year uh, B school. Right. And at that time, I have, ISB was the only college. So it was opened? I was the third batch. 2006, five. F- three I joined. Oh, oh, wow. Three to four I was there. So Rajat Gupta was, was, the, the, was the... He was the founding uh, member mm-hmm. at that time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the reason was I had to do a one year MBA. Uh, the only option was ISB or uh, you go out uh, um, literally pretty much nothing in the bank you took a 10 lakh loan at that Us time but 10 lakhs ka ISB that time mm-hmm. wow and it, was, it was a very big amount a lot of people said go to a Bhot unknown brand was time but up to, up to now it's the deal but that time to it had it, it was very attractive for Achha. sure if you anyone who had done a research around that so that time the primary purpose of the school was you had all visiting faculty all your top schools like the uh, Kellogg, Wharton's, London Business School mm-hmm. so wo acha element tha. and in fact I think that was one of the biggest like takeaways mm-hmm. from that course in Hyderabad in Hyderabad so did a one year course and took my degree uh, pretty much went to the airport and got married after Achha. Wow, like proper a film or a SEA bullro? No, almost like that. So you took the degree and I had to rush to the airport and okay. it was like two, three days later. Wow, amazing. So then what happened after ISB? You have a placement in your GE. Mm-hmm. Right. So, at that time, the GE was on a downhill track pe aa gaya tha because Jack Welch had left mm-hmm. and multiple CEOs were being churned out, if I'm not wrong. No, that happened about five, ten years later. Yeah, 2005. Uh, so Jeff Immelt had taken over. Uh-huh. I think when you say down, what happened is because Too big. Jack was so famous and mm-hmm. so high profile, uh, there was a feeling, right, when a high profile, really um, uh, somebody who's fully in control guy leaves, you tend to feel what will happen to the company, mm-hmm. right? Because it's really big shoes to fill. Right, right. So maybe that is what caused that perception. So huh, it was, uh, I think Friends last season was finishing when I okay. joined. <laughs> NBC was part of GE at that time. Oh. Wow. Mm. Okay. So, 
again those things you brag about right i'm joining a company which produced friends <laughs> yeah. that time it was like a big deal, big deal a deal. very very big deal right mm-hmm. right so i joined g's leadership program uh, okay. which was at that time fairly coveted uh, management trainee program kind of thing uh no actually not it was so their leadership program in fact prior to that would pick people with very high experience like at least 5 7 years 5 years on an average mm. um uh, when they came to campus they typically pick, picked up 3 years sort of experience guys that was their kind of so it is not a pure mt management trainee mm. program mm. but the idea was that they will because it was a conglomerate right from safety pins to aircrafts anything that you can think mm-hmm. would have a g uh, connects right right obviously so they would in over the course of 2 years they will put you in different businesses in different roles in different assignments in a different domain function primarily driven by at that time it used to be called information management so any technology slash technology related element mm, mm. Uh, is where you would go mm. i think that was the idea uh, and i again just like i think my like character comes from uh, formative years spending in alabad in up mm. i think my professional character was truly developed in ge that is how not an emphasis because i don't think i've spent too much time mm. and uh, and ha matlab i think i was very clear that i had to do something else so g g is very well known for its processes especially that time that whole jack wells kind of approach that was industry wide known right ki bahut systematic hai to in your personal life and aap g ka dekh rahe ho ki it's so programmatic so everything is so picture perfect and all of that personal life mein aapne kuch incorporate ki wo cheeze um uh, i think over the last few years only i have realized that a lot of times i think and i now that you're saying maybe it's it has the connect mm. back with g i tend to pick up a lot of inefficiencies in a in a setup and i that's what i go after um, mm. you tell me a business problem if it has a process angle to it or yeah i will try to map out the overall element and i'll pick up find out where the issue is did you, you know because aap ye bol rahe ho i was just reading a report a research we over like think 40 odd years what they found was that the first 5 years of whichever job you do mm. that becomes the culture organization ka hota hai that becomes your family's culture yes. family's culture that is the level of significance of your first 4 5 years of job possible quite possible um but i think my overall approach to leadership is extremely extremely connected back to my ge days i think i it was to me um um a place it was like live leadership lessons all across um mm. so i'm glad I, i was part of it and qu- quite some time i used to miss uh leaving mm. g but i think all good i think people who go places are the ones who keep moving so in the end you have to keep aapki team mein bhi attrition aayega so moving is not just the team right as long as you keep uh, uh, no no it's it's fair and in fact it is one of my hmm. leadership styles if you talk to any of my team members i always say i will never be a hindrance Achha. if you get something good i you will have my full wholehearted support hmm. and i think that's how people should be hmm. so g mai how you did stay for 3 4 years i was there for about 5 years 5 years uh then where did you accenture yes i joined accenture and what was the reason g sounds like a better brand to me than accenture i'm just asking yeah. i can be wrong so if you're a b school student right right like all good b school students you have to think you have to have a consulting uh, aspiration or you want to get into an i bank investment banking job so shayad kahin pe that was in at the back of mm. your mind that you want to do a consulting role mm. uh, so i think that was so somebody i knew there was some connect they called up and it just worked out like that mm. um um and i think at that time maybe at i had sensed that g was going through a few changes at that mm, time mm. so maybe that could also have been a factor to even think of fair enough fair, fair enough fair so accenture mein uh, how old were you when you joined accenture 30 around that yes mm. so, so that is a time when a lot of people think of moving abroad especially in this industry uh, did you ever think 
नो नेवर नो सच बोलो नहीं एकदम सच क्योंकि मेरे पास तो वो चॉइस मेरे इंजीनियरिंग डेज से थी इट वॉज इट इज फेयरली ईजी टू गेट इन टू अस बी यू एस यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर योर मास्टर्स फ्रॉम एन आई आई टी सेटअप आई थिंक वो चॉइस हमेशा से थी बट शायद मेरा इंटरेस्ट हाँ नहीं मतलब और रादर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंटली आई रियली लव वेन आई गो एंड ट्रेवल आउटसाइड यू ट्रेवल क्वाइट अबेट हाँ आई यूज टू अभी तो थोड़ा कम हो गया है बट इवेंचुअली यू वॉन्ट टू कम बैक राइट आई आई लाइक थ्री रीजन वाई यू डेंट गो टू दू एस I think it's more that all the three reasons are I wanted to stay at home I wanted to be in India and I wanted to be in India nothing else yeah. love it kuch kuch shayad ka nationalist flavor hoga mm-hmm. ya uh, I I I feel more comfortable so if I take it back to your Allahabad days right and I'm trying to connect it to that uh, what I believe and I can be wrong correct me there uh, especially in the northern part of this country the Hindi heartland uh, there's a heavy level of nationalistic pride mm. uh and it's i'm not saying that's not in the south but in north it's a bit more uh and you both formative years mein hoti hai aapke are when you're too young so do you think subconscious ek bias ek subconscious ek ek country ke liye ho gaya ki aapki identity country hai like you cannot see yourself and the country separately mm. is that a possibility um could be uh i had a lot of friends from north who've actually gone Asa. out and Obviously. stayed in right. in the us europe right. um one of my yeah best friends from school he's settled in london a couple of my very good friends either in the u from kharagpur either in the mm. us europe anywhere mm. uh so n- not what your observation was true but maybe the conclusion was not necessary yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. or it could be if you just look at the numbers a higher proportion of people from south versus mm. let's say a lower proportion mm. could be i think i i told you about my theory right mm. so it's it's like if you and i think may not necessarily be a uh, broad brush between north or south but mm. generally you can plot people on an x, x axis mm. on one side you put heart one side you put head mm. um and so and then you it helps it's my developed theory so you can it helps me kind of making a connect with people right mm. what works for whom mm. and generally you associate certain qualities right uh hard guys would be typically good summary guys probably good visionaries uh very empathetic mm. uh head guys will be great at execution very detail oriented uh a rational in approach mm. and strong super strong leaders would have an extremely nice balance they can or rather balance in the sense that they can move between zones yeah. and there's some people whom you can find out to be to have a preference for one uh, aap apne aap ko where do you put yourself there I think so I would have started more on heart, heart and I maybe I've tried to find a good balance now so is it because you've stayed in the south for a bit long 21 years or maybe a uh, professional setup or <laughs> right, the, uh, right. uh, 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 the the way you learn right, right the way right. you grow hmm. but I think the interesting thing is if it's important for people to know so like uh, it's it's good to even like when you're running teams right mm-hmm. if you have mm. a team member who's very hard driven right. he comes to you with a problem mm. all he or she needs is is a hug right mm. Mm. koi baat nahi ho jayega uh, chill uh. theek ho jayega and the guy will sort mm. uh, a head guy comes to your problem he wants he or she wants clear crisp rational explanation break it down okay this is he gets a solution to the problem mm. so that helps and imagine if it had been the other way around mm. a guy comes to you for a hug and mm. you start giving him an explanation right mm-hmm. or a guy comes to you for an explanation and you start <laughs> giving him a hug so right wo acha rehta hai and uh-huh. i don't think it's being manipulative or anything it's just knowing and understanding what works for people mm-hmm. and why professional applies in personal life mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. nahi so ab aapki journey hum samjhe ji tak pahunche aap ji ke baad you go to accenture right mm-hmm. and you said a consulting background but From a tech viewpoint, sort of like a services kind of approach, जो मेरे को समझ आती है एंड जी आई डोंट नो इफ आई एम राइट बट थोड़ा प्रोडक्ट ओरिएंटेड थी बिकॉज खुद के इंटरनल प्रोजेक्ट्स थे एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट राइट सो फ्रॉम अ प्रोडक्ट और प्रोजेक्ट लाइक वट एवर यू कॉल इट टू अ सर्विस बेस्ड बैक टू द सर्विस राइट यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इन्फिस घूम टू एक्सेंचर घूम फिर के वो सर्विस ही करते हैं डिड डिड यू सी कि आपका एक शिफ्ट हो गया था इन टर्म्स ऑफ एटीट्यूड यस 
I think I had a it's a very good observation mm. because I told you right those five years defined me as a professional mm. and now I came back to something which is not very familiar my comfortable territory ha, ha, right. um, so yes uh, there was a change and that explains why probably in a two year window mm. I I left Accenture and joined HSBC so how did HSBC happen so Accenture was like off that whatever less than two years two years i was there in accenture hmm. 17 18 months was living out of a suitcase so it's really yeah it sounds very nice or interesting is one day you are in bangalore next day you're in the u.s what was your role what was your role it was a small uh, niche uh, technology outsourcing role hmm. so we would get in this group would get involved in li- execution of large hmm. outsourcing slash offshoring deals okay so Pick, go to let's say a, a a place, company, location, take the whole deal and bring it back mm. and run it from your offshore centers. So you were handling the tech part of it, and sales also. No, so uh, the solutioning would be done, and our job was to just execute to make sure it moves from here to there. So client facing mm. neither. Uh, client facing, when execution करने जाते हो तो होता है. So you'll need to understand. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. But a lot of travel, and by that time I had my. second daughter okay. uh, so it was uh-huh. becoming very very t- right and at the same time what was your uh, wife doing if uh, if you don't mind so me she uh, she had a full fledged career as well mm-hmm. uh, she's worked in uh, infosys ge and now works with kpmg okay matlab in the same kind of tech domain ha so she's more uh, tech services Got you could say Got it. i branched out i think mm. so i stayed with my ge roots <laughs> so hsbc me like for our This was 2000, 2011. I joined in 2010. 2010. So London भी नहीं था उस टाइम पे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं था मतलब नहीं था एक तरह से नौकरी डॉट कॉम भी कोई इतना प्रेवलेंट नहीं था मेरे हिसाब से सो कैसे हुआ है हाउ डिड दैट हैपन आपने अप्लाई किया होगा मज्यूमिंग आई थिंक सम कंसल्टेंट कॉल्ड अच्छा खुद लाइक हेड हंटिंग काइंड ऑफ थिंग हाँ और या मोस्टली दैट एंड शायद मे बी आई डिसाइडेड टू आई वॉज थिंकिंग किया एक्टिवली लुकिंग टू डू समथिंग आउट तो फ्रेंड सर्कल में आपने बात की हुई थी यूजली लोग ऐसे ही करते हैं ना अपने आई आई टी खरगपुर में अब तो व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप हो गए तब दो चार यार दोस्तों को बोल दिया कि भाई कोई देख ले कुछ नहीं इनफैक्ट यू रियलाइज द पावर ऑफ दैट नेटवर्क इवन मोर नाउ बट बिकॉज ऑफ टेक बिकॉज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कनेक्शन कनेक्टिविटी आई स्टिल थिंक इट्स जस्ट एन इनेबलर यू स्टिल नीड टू बी वेरी गुड Hmm. Uh, in how and you what you network hmm. for hmm. um it's like um, i i want to have a conversation with you the more important thing is the conversation not whether we are doing it in person or we use a technology product called fair telephone enough, fair enough. Hmm. right so i think wo element hai hmm. your ability to have a people connect hmm. then things will probably run better got it so You are saying that you got a call from a consultant, and then I'm sure you did a multiple rounds of interview. Three, four, so it will be HSBC minimum, mm-hmm. and you got that job. Mm-hmm. Now HSBC, if I'm not wrong, probably was if I look at your career, the the like one brand which everyone knew. Mm-hmm. Again, G also people knew, but it was not so aspirational. G, I mean, lakhs of people work there. HSBC was like a very boutique in that aspect, right? That IB wala ek thoda angle usme aara tha, mm-hmm. not fully. Mm-hmm. बट एक 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 ग्लैमर था कुछ एच एस बी सी राइट रेज्यूमर पर लिखना भी अच्छा लगता है राइट सो इन योर फ्रेंड सर्कल और इन योर रिलेटिव द वे पीपल आर ट्रीटिंग यू डिट चेंज नहीं आपको थोड़ा तो लेने लग गया ज्यादा सीरियस नहीं एक्चुअली इन आई डोंट नो इफ इफ यू नो यूपी और नॉर्थ इंडिया वेल उनको पता ही नहीं होगा so uh, <laughs> just for this one so uh, most of the times it will be अच्छा एच डी एफ सी में काम करता है सो बट आई थिंक <laughs> वो जो एलिमेंट है ना एंड आई वेन सम ऑफ माई जूनियर गाइज फ्रॉम स्कूल विल लिसन टू दिस दे विल फुल्ली अग्री विद इट वो इशू तब से स्टार्ट हो गया था जिस दिन से आपने आई आई टी क्वालिफाई किया है सो दे वर सम ऑफ माई गुड जूनियर फ्रेंड्स हु यूज टू हेट मी बिकॉज उनके मम्मी पापा ने कॉन्स्टेंटली बोला कि देखो वो तो चला गया है तुम कुछ अच्छा वो वाले शर्मा जी के बेटे वो हाँ मुझे नहीं आइडिया था बिल्कुल भी Right. वो मुझे बाद में पता चला right. कि अच्छा नाउ आई रियलाइज कि आई मस्ट हैव कॉज सो मच पेन टू दीज पीपल एंड सम ऑफ द गाइज इवन 
रिमेंबर इट नाउ एंड आई गो एंड से सॉरी यार कि मेरा ऐसा कोई इंटेंशन नहीं था मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि ऐसा हो रहा है बट इफ कॉज रियल हार्ड बर्न एंड जेन्यनली इट कॉज हार्ड बर्न टू अलॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड आई तहे दिल से मैं उनको सॉरी बोलता हूँ इस चीज़ के लिए मुझे नहीं पता था बट आई एम स्टिल सॉरी फॉर दैट सो नाउ यू गेट इन टू एच एस बी सी राइट एंड आई थिंक अगेन एक सेंसर से नाउ यू अगेन कम बैक टू दैट जी कैंड ऑफ फॉरवर्ड कल्चर and if we look at your hsb journey there has been lot of promotions lot of upticks right but it has taken its time aap i think you were in hsb for 12 years now yes 12 years that's a, that's so tell us a bit in brief about your journey and tell us that whatever promotions you got how did patience play a role in that um so i joined hsbc to set up set up a transformation practice at offshore uh, and obviously i i won't say beyond beyond that uh, fair enough uh, and then so i did that for about 4 4 and a half years then ran a data and analytics function mm. for about 8 years and since a year i am running a credit function hmm which is a middle office back office sort of a uh, function right. hmm. hmm more middle office yeah hmm. so bangaj as we were discussing right if you look at your journey we see in in hsbc particularly we see that patience played a big role and as you know how the market is analytics market in the last 2 3 years after pandemic everyone is in a rush mm. and that's what you know when people come to me also to us also we tell them that aap ek t20 match mein nahi ho you are in a uh, test match mm. play test cricket don't play t20 cricket so if we look at your particular journey in hsbc and not partic- not you don't have to dwell, dwell into details but patience kya role play karti hai aapke hisab se it's an important trait for sure i think kya hota hai ki um so for example it it depends on people to people right like life mein understanding segmentation is very important so like everything people also kind of fall into different segments there are some people who prefer the slow and steady route there are some people who want instant sort of uh success mm. so agar again i can't give the advice so some, for some people being impatient works mm. uh but mujhe lagta hai after a point in time when now resumes come to me if i see a resume which has every 6 months every year you have been switching jobs mm. i will f- I'll probably not even shortlist that and i think it's a trend across uh it can give you some shorter time frame may some quick advantage but over the let's say a 5 10 year horizon uh the guys who've been patient would benefit Compound. and it's and it's not just the the packaging outside element of mm. i'm looking at oh you've switched four companies in two years it's also mujhe aisa lagta hai what will you learn over just a six month horizon you should the your value intrinsic value will increase ki tumne kuch achhi quality of project kiya ho tumne kuch acha quality of final end output deliver kiya hai and those things take time hmm. um so my sense is you will not even it's like uh if you want to be a good swimmer right you can you can basically take a uh, take a whatever is th- that uh, swimming tube mm. and cross the river mm. or if you have to learn swimming all the four strokes you need to invest that much of time mm. Mm. but in the end when i come when it comes to s- finding a a lifeguard i will pick a guy who knows all the four strokes right, right. can run it for a long period of time mm. uh, and you will figure out pe- everyone can figure out those profiles सो पंकज एक काउंटर आर्ग्यूमेंट है अगेन आई एम विद यू ऑन दिस साइड बट एक काउंटर आर्ग्यूमेंट है कि यू आर टॉकिंग जब आपने अपना करियर स्टार्ट किया 2000 2005 की बात है उस टाइम पे मार्केट बहुत अलग थी अब मार्केट बहुत चेंज हो गई है एंड इसमें स्टार्टअप्स है प्लेड एक्सट्रीमली क्रिटिकल रोल एंड नाउ पीपल फील कि इफ आई डोंट मूव फास्ट एंड लेट से इफ इन माई ट्वेंटीज आई डोंट शो अ लॉट ऑफ ग्रोथ देन आई एम ऑब्सलेट मैं आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग वो साइकी राइट आई टॉक टू लॉट ऑफ दीज इंडिविजुअल्स वॉट दे आर टेलिंग मीज कि यार अगर हमने अभी नहीं किया ना लोग बोले तुमने किया क्यों नहीं जब मार्केट बदल रही थी वॉट वर यू डूइंग वाई डिड यू स्टिक टू दैट वट एवर यू आर डूइंग चाहे वो दो साल में छोड़ा है एक साल में छोड़ा है छः महीने में वट एवर वॉट वॉट अगेन आई अग्री विद यू बट वॉट वुड यूर आंसर बी टू दिस बट दैट डेफिनेशन ऑफ ग्रोथ इज पर्सनल ग्रोथ हाँ एंड अगेन मतलब I'm not saying you should not necessarily switch. Uh, there are there are times when I mean it's like. आपने भी switch किया था Infosys से seven. हाँ मतलब I I did, um, but I'm with HSBC for twelve and a half years now. So and again I've done three roles already. Right. So that 
also is important. Sometimes if you feel uh, that you're becoming like a stagnant water, just may personal growth hi kuch nahi ho rahi mm. and there are there is whatever uh, kai lag rahi hai isme, <laughs> then the water should start flowing. Mm. But um, and again, so you can understand at some point aapki mass laws hierarchy important hoti hai, right? Mm. You mm. need to get all your needs taken care of. Mm. खाना खा रहे हो और बेटर खाना खाना है घर में रह रहे हो और बेटर घर में रहना है गाड़ी चला रहे हो बेटर गाड़ी चलानी है बट आफ्टर अ पॉइंट इन टाइम अ लॉट ऑफ अदर थिंग्स विल मैटर एंड देन दैट टाइम यू गो फॉर कंपनीज और प्लेसेस विच ऑफर यू एंड आई कीप टेलिंग दिस विच ऑफर यू अ करियर रादर देन अ जॉब एट सम पॉइंट तो तुमको एक स्टेबल स्टेबल इन द सेंस इन योर हेड यू नीड टू गेट इन टू अ कम्फर्टेबल शॉर्ट ऑफ अ प्लेस एंड कम्फर्टेबल नॉट Because a lot of people will say get out of comfort zone. वो इशू नहीं है वो तुम्हें किसी भी कंपनी में मिल जाएगा In fact, um, uh, something I tell people, all your life, right? हमारे job profiles में 80% परसेंट ऑफ द वर्क हम सब लोग किसी भी एरिया में देख लो जो करते हैं वो फेली मुंडेन रेगुलर स्टफ होता है यू हैव टू फाइंड दैट ट्वेंटी परसेंट विच गिवज यू दी एक्साइटमेंट किक दैट किक एंड वो उतना ही रहेगा किसी को हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्साइटमेंट नहीं मिलेगा लाइफ तो वो देखते हैं थोड़े शोज वगैरह देखते हैं लोग स्टार्टअप्स वगैरह पे तो लगता है कि वो बारह के बारह घंटे एक्साइटमेंट मिलती है मतलब लोग देख के लगता है एंड दे फील कि बिग कंपनीज जो भी हैं सारी जिसमें आपने काम किया है यहाँ पे वो बीस परसेंट ही मिलेगा सो वॉट इज इट डू यू थिंक मुझे नहीं लगता है इवेंचुअली सो अगर आपको हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स दौड़ना है या तो आप सुपर दौड़ लो पहले टेन किलोमीटर्स फिर उसके बाद चलते हुए जाओ और यू वैलिड पॉइंट वेरी हैव दैट पेस वेरी गुड एनालॉजी आई थिंक या दैट दैट मेक्स लॉट ऑफ सेंस कि आपको टाइम आउट करना है पेस आउट करना है आपको एंड आई इवन इफ यू आर गेटिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्साइटमेंट एट सम प्लेस यू नीड टू गिव योर ब्रेन रेस्ट राइट इन सम वेज तो वो क्विक स्प्रिंट करो रेस्ट करो क्विक अगेन उसके लिए किस तरीके के रनर हो तो मुझ पर डिपेंड करता है अगर इफ यू आर समन हु लाइक्स कि मैं एक बिग स्प्रिंट करूँ देन आई वॉन्ट टू रेस्ट फॉर वन वीक एंड देन वट एवर वन ईयर एंड देन आई गो probably good for you hmm. for some people it it is that other thing hmm. and after a point in time a lot of other things become important hmm. uh, but mujhe lagta hai shuru mein na and i keep telling this to my team members when your le- ability to learn is much better as you grow old your ability to learn obviously goes down to shuru mein us cheez ko bahut uh, gain kar lo as much as possible hmm. because after a point in time stagnant ho jayega ha matlab learnability will go down Why, why will the learnability go down? Ego. I think. मुझे लगता है your grey cells go down in oh. in some ways. Uh, biological. Uh, हाँ biological. हाँ biological. Okay. And then you have to fight it out. Hmm. Uh, you can keep uh, plus आपके needs with the the kind of skill sets that are required after a point of time also change. Hmm hmm hmm. Hunger भी थोड़ी तो कम होती है. हाँ hopefully हाँ. Hmm. I I we don't know हाँ possibly plus आपके बहुत सारे और distractions आ जाते हैं. You get so again a good analogy is like वेन यू बॉर्न टिल मे बी ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स थर्टी ईयर्स तक आपकी लाइफ में हमेशा एक्शन हो रहा होता है वेन यू बॉर्न यू यू डोंट नो हाउ टू वॉक सो इवन वॉकिंग इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग यू डोंट नो हाउ टू टॉक तो कुछ नया चल रहा होता है फिर आप स्कूल जाना शुरू करते हो वो एक नई चीज़ होती है आपको पता नहीं आप ए बी सी डी से लेके सब पढ़ना शुरू नया हो रहा है स्कूल में नए फ्रेंड्स बन रहे हैं आपके कुछ लाइफ में नया हो रहा है फिर आप कॉलेज में जाते हो वहाँ कुछ नया होने लगता है फिर आपकी पर्सनल लाइफ में यू स्टार्ट मीटिंग पीपल फिर रिलेशनशिप हो सकती है फिर देन यू गेट मैरिड तो ये सब एक्शन आपको 30 इयर्स तक बहुत ऑक्यूपाइड रखता है आपकी लाइफ में बहुत थ्रिल है बहुत इंटरेस्ट है उसके बाद सडनली यू देर कम्स टू देर कम्स अ पॉइंट इन योर लाइफ कि अब लाइफ में कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग नहीं है मतलब और हाँ और वो प्रोफेशनल में भी आती है और पर्सनल में भी आ सकती है आपको then you have to find out or then and in fact that's a good time to take a like a a, a sense check ki bhai kya karna kya karna hai and then you that's when you'll find a lot of people either picking up a new thing new mm. hobby or whatever mm. yeah newer area so uh, and i think that's how cycle of life is and then aapka pace aapka sochne ka nazariya bahut change hota obviously but life mein aur cheeze aa gayi hain you have to look after family parents kids no no तो वो एंड आई थिंक एवरीवन विल गो थ्रू दैट सो आई थिंक पंकज हमने आपकी पूरी जर्नी समझी एंड वी ऑब्वियसली आई थिंक एवरीवन कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई हैव यू बीन सो सक्सेसफुल बट नाउ वी वांट टू सी सम थिंग्स व्हिच क्या है आपका वो लिंडन खोलेगा नहीं समझ पाएगा hmm. अभी तो क्या है जो हमने डिस्कस किया मोरलेस लिंडन पर था मतलब डिटेल और अंदर की समझ आ गई बट 
थोड़ा हम बात करते हैं वेन यू हैव फेल्ड इन योर लाइफ राइट एंड फेलियर कैन स्टेम फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट आप आई आई डली नहीं जा पाए मैं एग्जाम मुझे नहीं पता मैं एग्जाम मुझे नहीं पता आई एम जस्ट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल फेलियर कैन स्टेम फ्रॉम द फैक्ट कि आपको शुरू में जो फर्स्ट नौकरी मिली आपको बेटर चाहिए थी तो अगर आप थोड़ा हम स्टार्ट करें नाउ वी हैव अगेन वी विल गो फास्ट ओनली बट कुछ कुछ फेलियर्स जिन्होंने आपको उस टाइम पर थोड़ा हिलाया बट नाउ दैट यू थिंक आपको प्रिपेयर किया दैट इट इट काव्ड यू इट स्कल्प्टेड यू इन टू हु यू आर टूडे एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एटलीस्ट द आई आई टी डेज उस टाइम से अगर हम करें तो आई थिंक सो शुरू में ना आप सो इफ आई लुक एट माई सेल्फ आई हैड अ लॉट मोर सक्सेस एन फेलियर्स मोस्ट ऑफ इट वुड वॉज वर्किंग आउट ठीक है मतलब हाँ थोड़ी बेटर रैंक आती है बेटर आई आई टी में जाते या बेटर नॉक but it was always like you know, get the it. get ah. the first one get through and ah. you you will not fail ji uh, but i think us us mamle mein mujhe lagta hai sports has taught me a lot more hmm. uh, because you will not keep winning matches uh, and i keep telling this to kids and more importantly for your uh, the people that you train ki aapki life mein na log key highlights yaad rakhte hain so it's like and i sachin tendulkar would have played 400 500 matches mm-hmm. he scored about 100 odd so which means four out of five uh, may were fail kiya matlab uh-huh. fail in the sense like not know, a century uh-huh. but people still remember him mm-hmm. because uski wo key highlights hain jaise professionals ko bhi abhi the, the question you were asking mujhe lagta hai over a course of time uh, aap 365 days chakke nahi chakke nahi maar sakte ho but find out कि वो कौन से दो तीन छक्के हैं जिसके पीछे आप मारने जाओगे वेट फॉर दोज बॉल्स हम लोगों का अप्रेजल करते हैं लोगों का असेसमेंट करते हैं इंटरव्यूज करते हैं राइट व्हाट इन अ वन आवर इंटरव्यू और अ वन ईयर जर्नी प्रोफेशनल जर्नी व्हाट डू पीपल रिमेंबर दोज की हाईलाइट्स लाइक द बिग वन दैट यू टॉक्ड अबाउट सो वो हिट करना ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो अगर आपको ये समझ में आ गया ना सो क्रिएट दैट वन वेरी यूनिक थिंग ओवर द लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स जिसके ऊपर तुम बात कर सको घूम फिर के आफ्टर अ पॉइंट इन टाइम दैट्स वॉट विल मैटर एंड आई गो बैक टू अ क्रिकेट एग्जाम्पल हाउ मेनी पीपल रिमेंबर अ स्टडी इनिंग्स वेर एज समबडी हुज इन दैट इनिंग्स दे वुड रिमेंबर टू थ्री सिक्स इज दैट यू हिट सो वो एक इम्पॉर्टेंट आई लाइक सो एंड आई थिंक गोइंग बैक टू योर फेलियर क्वेश्चन आई so uh, that fa- so till that point of time i was going really really fast most of it would be success i understand i mean for you it was success ha in your but, definition uh, yes then there was probably a point in time that happened and i won't talk about where which what mm-hmm. but then uh, there was probably an instance where i got stuck mm-hmm. and uh, and it was not a good like you were on a high suddenly you kind mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. go down i think us pure process mein मुझे एंड आई कीप रिफ्लेक्टिंग बैक सो द वे आई हैंडल दैट सिचुएशन आई नाउ आई लुक बैक आई कुड हैव हैंडल इट मच बेटर एंड आई थिंक अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज यू टॉक टू पीपल राइट और दिस इज अचुएशन वॉट शुड आई डू सब ज्ञान और शायद मैंने वो किया जो मेरा नेचुरल सेल्फ नहीं था हाँ वो मैं नेचुरली वैसा नहीं करता बिकॉज आई एम नॉट गुड एट इट सो आई थिंक उस पूरे प्रोसेस ने ना मुझे ये बताया कि वेदर इट वर्क और नॉट I should stick to what I am like. What works? What is my natural um, uh, so resting get. place? इतना तो वही होगा ना मतलब जो आपके ethics, जो आपका heart, uh, whatever it says, you should try to follow that. And it would have the person who gave me the advice. It would have worked superbly right for that person. समझ गया? I got it. लेकिन it did not. कोई गलत intent किसी की नहीं होती, but आपके लिए you know what is best. और अगर मैं अपनी natural grain में रहता, तो it would have worked much better. Is what I think. सो लाइक जैसा आपने बताया राइट आज आप एक एक पोजीशन पे हो एंड आई एम श्योर कि इस पोजीशन के आगे भी आप बहुत कुछ सोचोगे वेन एवर यू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन दीज फेलियर्स और वट एव फेलियर इज अ रॉन्ग टर्म वट एवर यू कॉल इट राइट कुछ थोड़ा जमीन पे आते हो आप मतलब थोड़ा आपको ग्राउंड होते हो मैं हमेशा जमीन पर नहीं मतलब आई एम जस्ट जनरली आस्किंग नॉट नॉट जस्ट अबाउट आई नो यू आर द पर्सन बट आई एम सेंग कि कभी कभी क्या होता है वट आई आई हैव पर्सनली सीन विद माई सेल्फ कि वेन एवर आई हैव फेल्ड और वेन एवर आई हैव नॉट वेन एवर थिंग्स आर नॉट गॉन फॉर मी दैट हेल्प्स मी बी हम्बल्ड वेन एवर आई नीड टू बी हम्बल्ड येस येस आई थिंक येस यूर राइट एब्सोल्यूटली राइट सो हाथ इफ दैट इज वॉट यू मैंट एट समू पॉइंट यू वर थिंकिंग नहीं आर वॉट एवर यू डू जस्ट क्लिक्स विल वर्क 
and then you are kind of uh, taken to a place where you're really really at the lowest point in your life so i think mujhe lagta hai ki hamesha yaad rakhna chahiye usko it really gets you back agar aapko thoda bhi lagta hai ki you are hmm. you're doing superbly well hmm. uh, you should remember i think those those low points really get you back so that that way you're right so abhi bahut logo ke layoffs hue i was just coming to that and a lot of people are writing to me on linden and here and there ki feeling really bad world has ended and all of that and i think you want to have a message for them that what you just said how they can also apply to their lives mujhe lagta hai the and i it's probably a cliched statement when your back is against the wall jab aap piche jaan isse lo kuch ho hi nahi sakta hai to the only thing that can happen is you go forward after that and i think mujhe aisa lagta hai sabki life mein failures aur issues aane hain you will to you aaj tumhari life mein aaya hai aaj uski life mein aaya hai but it will happen sabke tareeke alag ho jate hain sabke किस फॉर्म और शेप में आएगा वो अलग हो जाता है गोइंग बैक टू फिलोसॉफी राइट सबके अमाउंट ऑफ सुख दुख इज डिफाइंड वो किसी को ज़्यादा किसी को कम नहीं मिलता अलग अलग फॉर्म शेप में मिलता है तो तुम्हें आज इसमें मिला है इस डिसअपॉइंटमेंट को याद रखो बिकॉज वो हमेशा या तो इट विल कीप यू ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड आई थिंक इट द डिसअपॉइंटमेंट एट टाइम्स कैन रियली फायर यू अप सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन इफ आई कनेक्ट इट बैक देर वॉज अ टाइम मुझे ऐसा लगता है जैसे मैं हैदराबाद से बैंगलोर कभी शिफ्ट नहीं होता आई वॉज सुपर आई भी वहीं गए थे आप तो लगा था बेस्ट है और बहुत अच्छी हमारा पूरा इको सिस्टम था वेरी गुड सेट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स एवरी थिंग वॉज जस्ट वर्किंग फाइन वाइफ वॉज ऑल्सो देर शी वॉज ऑल्सो देर पेरेंट्स वर सेट किड्स वर सेट बट मुझे लगता है दैट इवेंट ना इज वॉट रियली गॉट मी मूविंग वरना मैं कभी नहीं मूव होता तो इफ आई नाउ लुक बैक उस इवेंट में गाय बिकॉज ऑफ यू आई दे वॉज सम फायर दैट वॉज क्रिएटेड फॉर मी टू गो एंड आई थिंक इट हैज इफ आई लुक बैक द टाइम आई स्पेंट इन बैंगलोर इट इज इट्स वर्क रियली रियली वेल आई मीन आई थिंक अपॉर्चुनिटी वाइज ग्रोथ वाइज एवरी थिंग जो आपकी बात है राइट एंड again i'm referring to people who have been laid off because a lot of them have you know started talking to us what i i would tell them to take inspiration from your thing is that guys last do teen saal mein na market jo ho rahi thi that is not what the market is aap mm. honestly you were on a high mm. especially the tech analytics folks were on a high matlab mm. unko lagta hai crore rupaye bana lenge and all of that right aise nahi hota it doesn't work like that now i know as jaisa aapne bola your back is against the wall now is the time to work on yourself mm. now is the time to truly define your value mm. right that, that, that's the best time mm. abhi kya logo ki expectation aapse low ho gayi hai ghar walon ne hi bol diya tumhe naukri chali gayi hai ab koi aapse koi bahut zyada expect nahi kar raha now they are not expecting 100% hike for you now is the time to work on yourself upskill karo jaisa bhi karna hai and then come back with a vengeance yes yes right and in fact uh, again if you had stopped learning it's probably a push right uh, for you mujhe lagta hai jo jab aap tough sich it's like uh, an analogy right when you start building muscle mm. when you start taking the lifting the heavier dumbbell that's when your better muscle will come mm. so ye wo wali fight hai ki mm. abhi mujhe lagta hai and it's a cliched statement jab tough situation aati hai na sab zyada za- mushkil darwaze ko kholna hota hai mm. to shayad aap zyada strong bante ho mm. so that's the i think the only thing to t- pick up and in this case in specifically in the industry uh, Uh, this is what i've told some of the guys ki tumko ab chance mil raha hai to take a step back and you have some free time as you said upgrade karo apne aap ko because aaj tum kar loge to agle tum few years ke liye sorted ho jo log nahi kar rahe hain they will eventually land yeah. up in that same place so hmm. hmm. it's and you've experienced it hmm. and ab tumhe wo jab kehte hai na sar pe kafan bandh lo to maut ka dar nahi lagta ab you've experienced it so hmm. as i said ab you are like fully ready to take on any problem in your life right and one thing just a bit off topic to guys who have been laid off guys tech is booming in india analytics is booming in india mm. so jobs are not going anywhere wo thodi pricing correction ho rahi hai market ke andar where jo abnormal salaries mil rahi thi wo nahi milengi but you will come to that salary in a couple of years maximum yes yes right so uh-huh. you are you oh, it's a superb super booming sector for sure uh, and i think uh, why it has happened is if i take a philosophical view what was happening is a lot of you would have read a lot of money was chasing the startup ecosystem startup ecosystem mein kya hota hai ki every 6 months 8 months aap 
आपको प्रोग्रेस दिखानी है फंड बिकॉज यू हैव टू रेज फंड नाउ उस केस में लॉट ऑफ एंड आई नॉट सिंग ट्रू फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ इट बट अ गुड नंबर ऑफ द स्टार्टअप्स उनके लिए क्या था कि हायर अ जावा गाय हायर अ डेटा गाय और कुछ एक बढ़िया सी यू आई बना दो कुछ समथिंग दैट शोज कि पहले मैं वहाँ था अब हमारे पास एक प्रोडक्ट है तो उसका ऑब्जेक्टिव ही शायद वहाँ तक ही पहुँचने का था उससे बियॉन्ड नहीं था एंड दैट्स वैन यू होपफुल इन दिस प्रोसेस यू विल लर्न कि आप चीज़ों को कंपनीज को करियर्स को एज ए सेट हम इफ़ यू लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब यू विल गेट अ जॉब इफ़ यू लुकिंग फॉर अ करियर यू विल बिल्ड अ करियर तो दैट थिंकिंग प्रोसेस ऑल्सो नीड्स टू स्टार्ट गोइंग बैक टू दीज प्रोफेशनल्स राइट कि एम आई गेटिंग इन टू अ प्लेस जिसका इथॉस सही है जो लॉन्ग टर्म सोच रहा है दो ज्यादा प्लेसेज विच विल वे यू जनरली विल डू वेल इवेंचुअली एंड गोज बैक दौड़ना हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स ही है तुम डिसाइड कर लो कि अभी फाइव सुपर स्प्रिंट करके फिर कई साल रेस्ट करना है या यू वॉन्ट टू गो एट अ स्पेस इवेंचुअली हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स ही दौड़ना है I think that is that is perfect perfect advice coming from the horse's mouth right uh, because when you are saying it people will you know because aap unke they will they aap boss ki boss you know what i mean right like uh, i think that makes a lot of sense so pangas the way we close this is that uh, what is one advice as we say right you would want to give to your younger self or to any professional who is below 25 um actually I think uh, won't be an advice I give to my younger self, but to almost everyone else, because this has worked for me. जी मुझे लगता है what has worked for me till now is in my head I am reasonably flexible. So मैं कभी भी rigid नहीं हो जाता हूँ किसी भी चीज़ के लिए. And I think that is true for most people. If you are uh, never uh, Never think what you are thinking right now is correct. या जिस सिचुएशन में हो जो आपकी सराउंडिंग है इको सिस्टम दैट्स द द फाइनल थिंग यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी ओपन एंड आई थिंक वॉट हैज़ वर्क इज यू हैव टू बी एक्सट्रीमली फोकस्ड मुझे लगता है वॉट हैज़ वर्क वेदर आई वॉन्टेड टू लुक फॉर अ न्यू जॉब और अ न्यू रोल और वट एवर और वट एवर आई डन इन लाइफ इज बिकॉज वेन आई डिसाइड दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर देन आई एम एक्सट्रीमली फोकस्ड एंड फिर उसके बाद आई एम ब्लिंकर्स ऑन फिर नथिंग एल्स मैटर्स सो अगर एनी वन हाँ वो फ्लेक्सीबल ओपन रहो बट अपना टारगेट गोल सेट करने के बाद जस्ट नथिंग शुड वेवर यू फ्राम गोइंग फॉर दैट गोल फिर अगर मेरा ये गोल है देन एवरी एक्शन दैट आई टेक एवरी मिनट दैट आई स्पेंड एवरी एफर्ट दैट आई एम स्पेंडिंग ये चेक करो कि इज इट टेकिंग यू टूवर्ड्स दैट गोल और नॉट इन ये गोल की डेफिनेशन राइट लाइक लेट से मतलब किसी की डेफिनेशन होगी गोल की कि आई वॉन्ट टू हैव अ बिलियन डॉलर एग्जाम्पल तो वो तो आप कल नहीं कर रहे एग्जाम्पल या फिर आप थोड़े माइक्रो लेवल पर कुछ गोल्स की बात करो आई यू टॉकिंग मोर माइक्रो और मोर माइक्रो आई थिंक एनी थिंग तुम अगर बिलियन डॉलर भी बनाने को सोचो तो तुम्हें ये तो पता होना चाहिए कि एक दिन का चीज़ नहीं है लेकिन फिर इफ इट्स अ टेन ईयर फिफ्टीन वट एवर ईयर होराइजन फिर तुम्हें अगले अपने फिफ्टीन ईयर्स कुछ और नहीं सोचना है या एट अ माइक्रो लेवल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट योर फिटनेस बैक फॉर एग्जाम्पल देन a uh, the whole 24 hours when so you wake right. up uh-huh. are you putting anything the effort yani ki ki tum kuch kar rahe ho jisse tumhari fitness better ho rahi hai jo tum kha rahe ho ye tumhari fitness ko better kar raha hai mm-hmm. wo tumhare every action mm-hmm. it ha- you at the back of your mind you, you need to be sure ki main ye jo kar raha hu ye mujhe plus ja raha hai ya aur hame hamesha pata hota hai we always know always know to wo main bol raha hu ki wavering it could be as you take a project tumhari uh, teams right you have a 2 3 month training window mm-hmm. us time mujhe agar apne aap ko upgrade karna hai mm-hmm. i am picking up new skill then i just forget about everything else ab mera 2 months ka goal hai mm-hmm. right? right the guys that you have for example ya 3 months ka goal mm-hmm. hai ab main pura focus rahunga main apne 24 hours jahan bhi spend kar raha hu mm-hmm. is it making me a better professional is it making me learn that thing that you want them to learn mm-hmm. then i think you are fine uske baad you achieve that one then you go and have fun whatever you want perfect i think uh, pankaj this was this was really fun i think very very good learning her team is also looking at looking at them kafi kuch seekh rahe uh thank you so much pankaj really really appreciate your time thank you so much for having me raghav it was really nice same thank you